Hey, Blizzard fans, welcome to a special Blizzard video today. I am joined by Megan. Hi, Megan. Hello. <laughs> and Tanita. Hi, Tanita. Hello. From MCL Outdoors, and we're going to talk to you guys about Outdoors Night and get you introduced um, to a couple cool products that they have. Um, so coming up in April here, we had Outdoors Night scheduled, and once the schedule materializes again, we still will run Outdoors Night. We had a real cool experience and still will for you guys where we were going to give away a Maverick hunting blind and have a bunch of timber torches on display. And then our friends from Ken Sports are going to be involved uh, and just have a real cool outdoorsy feel um, to the Blizzard game. So those of you guys have gone to Blizzard games before might recognize Megan. So Megan actually sells snowstorm footballs at one of our stairwells there. So those of you guys who uh, you may or may not like Megan if she's taking your money, but that'll be... <laughs> She's good at it. So hopefully it's uh, for a fun cause, right? Yeah, I wish I had the stats on a number of winners that came from your side of the arena, but I don't. <laughs> so so go to Megan's side of the snowstorm tables. Uh yes. and then Tonita, actually I was really excited this year. And once we have a game, I uh, hadn't been to a Blizzard game yet. So I'm really excited to have you guys out. And Blizzard fans who don't know, MCL is part of our family of businesses. So this is kind of a special introduction for us. Um as MCL, along with many of our village of companies, support the Blizzard over the years, uh, and it's all kind of a, a big family here. So, with that being said, I wanted to introduce you guys to two products that I think are awesome because I've gotten to see them um, during my time visiting MCL and when we started planning this night. So, I'll let um, Tanita. We'll start with you. So, you want to tell us a little bit about Maverick and Maverick Blinds? Sure, I can do that. And actually, if we're going to, if we can flip, Megan's actually going to do that one. I'm going to show the pictures. Yeah. Up, oh, so. perfect. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Maverick blinds are a line of hard-sided hunting blinds. Um, they come in two pieces, so they're really easy to assemble, and it's made out of a really um, durable um, roto-molded polyethylene material. So um, for those of you who don't know what polyethylene is, um, it's a really durable plastic um, and we, we UV stabilize it so that you can set it up outside and then just leave it there for years, really. Um, these things are built to last. So um, you can set them up year round. We have a couple different sizes. They have different window configurations too. So you can really choose the model that um, fits your hunting style the best, um, whether you hunt with a bow, crossbow, gun, um, there's definitely a Maverick blind for you. We have a couple different colors too. There are black, brown, and green options. So you can fit your hunting environment wherever that might be. Um, and then we also have some elevation accessories that help you build a sturdy platform that's going to be safe um, and last for a long time as well. So um, those are the Mavericks for our hunting enthusiasts. That's awesome. And we were going to have some fun and still intend to. So we we're going to had you guys, Blizzard fans, made it to the lobby um, at the home opener. We were going to have one of these set up, much like we did the ski ball over the years, because we were giving one of the blinds away. And then, speaking of the snowstorm, we actually were going to attach, and still are, the um, we're going to attach a Maverick blind on a trailer to a Ken's four-wheeler and pull it around the field during the snowstorm and throw the snowstorm footballs into the windows instead of the helmet that game. Yeah. So there's a lot um, fun still coming. Um, one of the other really cool products um, is the Timber Torch. I got it right, right? We don't have to stop and record the video. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So Tanita or Megan, um, just so I get the right one, if someone wants to do the Vanna White slideshow and someone wants to <laughs> explain that one, tell us about that one. Yeah, Megan's going to do the, the Vanna White slide or the presentation. Um, <laughs> so actually, this, this is the first time that we're sharing a Timber Torch within the, with the public. Um, through this video today, so or this this recording, um, the Timber Torch is a really really awesome product. It's a fire pit. Um, you can get a bonfire going in about five minutes. You can burn pretty much any kind of wood if it's freshly cut. If it's wet, you've got you know you're up at your cabin and it's been raining, and you know the next day it's nice and sunny out, and you want to get a bonfire going. You can do that with wet wood as well, um, and that's all through a battery. Um, with the configuration of the unit, uh, there's a battery with a fan, and then just with the airflow circulation with it, it, it really is um, gets gets the fire rocking and rolling. Um, and with rocking and rolling, there's also um, speakers uh, built awesome. in. You can control 
You can play the, the, you can pick your music from your phone. You can control the height of the bonfire from your phone through an app. Um, you can also see the little, um, on the side of the unit, or on the side of the timber torch, there are handles and there's extensions that come out and you can actually, it's portable, you can move it around like a wheelbarrow. Um, um, there's also accessories. You can add a cooking grill component to it. So again, um, we're pretty excited. Uh, I will say challenging during these times to be launching a new product, especially one that's such an experiential product. Um, our first round of, of sharing this experience was at the Blizzard game this month. So we're getting really creative of how do we do this through social media and introduce this product because I can imagine the number of families that are going to be looking for new things to be doing at home. Um, than they didn't do before. So um, that's the Timber Torch. Anything you'd want to add, Megan, that I missed? I don't think so. You covered it pretty well. So the only thing I guess I'd add is this next week, um, we are starting to work a little bit more on our content now that we have our patent um, pending and we can now share it with the public. Um, so more to come on that. And Ryan, if you want to do a little episode just on the Timber Torch and we can share it actually in video with it burning a fire and rocking and rolling, we can definitely do that. Yeah, I gotta say guys, I'm actually more excited having seen this now. So Blizzard fans, I got to go see it not with fire on it and the pictures um, make me pretty excited <laughs> for it. So granted yeah. like two fire pits out front when it's not cold is a little bit different, but I think we get the approval to roast s'mores is my plan then. So <laughs> when we run outdoors night, we'll do s'mores over the fire pits <laughs> and crank some tunes. They actually look crank incredible. Tunes, those. Yeah with the fire on them. So nice work on those. So I think it's, it's really cool to be part of a family of businesses um, that has really neat products like this. So is there any sneak preview or any, is there anything you guys are working on that you can share without all of us not being friends anymore? Um, <laughs> that you could share any inside information on other cool ideas you're having? Yeah, actually we have a, an epic uh, bag toss outdoor game that we're working on. It's got lights and again, it's going to be the goal is to work with it with a, with a social or app component to it. Um, so that's in the works. Uh, our goal is to have something um, in the market for people to start experiencing by the end of May. So we are really fast tracking, especially with everything that's going on and families looking for things to do at home. Um, and especially as it's getting nicer, what can I do at home outside um, amongst our immediate family? Um, and this is another thing in addition to Timber Torch that we're working on. We just don't have a name for it, so I'm not calling it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> um, so that's something we'll be working on as well is what are we going to name the, the epic uh, nine hole bag toss game or it's been <laughs> show, but that's just one of many games you can play on it. So. I think that's really neat. You know, when we, when we queued up doing this video too, I guess I didn't, you know, with all the craziness going on, I didn't think about that the timber torch is something perfect for right now. And I, I mean, personally, I believe too, that once this passes, hopefully family and friends gather even more since we've been secluded. So something like the timber torch or those outdoors games or more than sitting in front of Netflix and Hulu and stuff. I think stuff is once you can gather and especially as we're outdoors and stuff right now i mean this these are some perfect products so that segues perfectly so if when the bag game gets named or to learn more about timber torch where can i send fans to to learn about you guys and learn about the cool products coming well maverickblinds.com is where you go for the blinds um we will have to get you more information on exactly where people can go but um timbertorch.com uh, timber and then T-O-R-C-H dot com will be a live page probably in the next week. Awesome. Uh, and then the Epic Game, not sure yet, but definitely I think, uh, Ryan, we can, once we know where that is, we can share it with you and you can share it with the Blizzard fans. Perfect. Yeah. I'll drop whatever links we have fans in the description of this video too, so you can click right to Maverick. Um, is there social media running for all those two already or just Maverick? Yep, Maverick has a Facebook page and an Instagram page. So you Perfect. can find us um, at Maverick Blinds on both of those platforms. I knew that. I pay attention to you guys. That was me leading the witness and the fans, just so you think I don't pay attention to my sponsors there. So. I was waiting for you to leave. Yeah. Me. Thank you. And Megan, Got we it. have a giveaway on Maverick's uh, Facebook page right now on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, we do a headlamp. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So check Those it out. And Go ahead, sorry. Try to win. Yeah. So when we're done, make sure you click on the links and check them out. So 
we'll take a, I want to take a step back and just through all the chaos personally for both of you. So you guys have any advice, words of wisdom as we've been wrapping these, these videos up or, you know, it's the words out there right now as we're all in this together. So just anything you can tell people or let you guys both have been helping you guys get through or just, you know what I mean? Any words of wisdom, I think, cause it's neat from Blizzard fans to hear from more just me saying, Hey, we can't do returns and exchanges yet. <laughs> it's refreshing <laughs> to know that I'm in my home talking to you guys. So I'm not even at the office, but what, what are some, what's helping you guys get through? For me, I think it's just making sure I get outside, right? Like leave the house a little bit while still staying safe. Um, I take the dog on extra long walks, which he loves. Um, and just try to take advantage of the extra time too with family. Um, it's weird not having things to do every night. You know, we have all these activities going on all the time, but it's also kind of nice to have just that downtime at home to connect. And I mean, sure, it's not always super fun, but but it's nice to just have that time. Yeah, I think, you know, that we all know, I mean, it's, it's, it is a tough time. Um, you know, there's a lot of emotions, a lot of things going on. You know, it's important that we all stay safe. We wash our hands and do all of those things. But I think there's also, you know, as Megan said, is, is looking at what are those things that you can still bring happiness to your life in, in the interim. And, I, and a lot of it is just finding a new way to live. Um, you're still going to have the ups and the downs or the downs and the ups. And, you know, I kind of look at it as, you know, find peace, you know, be patient and, and try to be positive because there's a lot of people that need us right now that are not in a good spot and whatever we can do to help bring them up and lift them up is, is really what's needed. One of the things I'd say in the last few weeks ago, you know, I had a really, you know, it was really tough, you know, work and, you know, everything's changing and what's going on within the world of, you know, people and health. And, you know, I heard my son in his room giggling and it just brought a big smile to my face. And it just reminded me of, yeah, you know what, what can I do to help others? And it is, it's what can we do to bring you know, that peace and that comfort and, and bringing back the positivity, even though we've got some, a lot of things going on um, that aren't, that aren't fun. So. That's awesome. Well, I thank you guys. And uh, we have some outstanding partners um, in the Green Bay Blizzard. Uh, we use the word partner instead of sponsor, um, even without the coronavirus, because we're all in this together. Um, and it's not truly a sponsorship. We rely on our partners to help a lot with Blizzard football. Um, all of my partners are important to me with this one special. Again, Blizzard fans, MCL is part of our family of businesses. Um, so we really appreciate you guys supporting and taking time today. And we're excited to still get those products on the play. We, we absolutely will run outdoors night. Kathy and I joke that we may have a youth jersey, camo hat, outdoors night, double bubble, $2 hot dog, all on one night, depending on what happens with the schedule. But it'll be a night to attend and post-game laser show. Who knows? For sure. Um, but we'll get through it and we'll sell a lot of snowstorm football. So. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan, you did an amazing job. And I, it's funny because I've got the Maverick hat on right now, but I wish I had the Blizzard Maverick Pens hat on for Camel Night. So. Yeah, and I gave like the other, all the thousand that we're giving away are locked in the rest center. And the ones that I had for media purposes are given out. So I went onto the video today. I'm like, all right, I wish I had the Maverick hat to wear, but it looks incredible <laughs> Blizzard fans. So when we have that night, make sure you attend. It's a great looking hat. So I think that's what I had. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, and I appreciate you both supporting and helping brainstorm and create fun nights like this for our fans. Um, Blizzard fans, be, for, be sure to check out Maverick blinds and as the Timber Torch stuff releases, because it'll be really cool. And I think it's a, an outstanding product for the times, ironically. So I think it, again, the photos made me think, well, that's really neat. You know, <laughs> like I hadn't seen it with fire before, so I'm really excited for it. So well, thank you guys very much. And we will see you soon.